The royal family of Kuwait is loaded, and here's how they spend their vast fortune. The royal family of Kuwait has a net worth of $360 billion, with most of it coming from oil reserves. So of course they have one of the most beautiful homes you've ever seen. This seafront palace is the perfect blend of East and West. From its grandiose style, over-the-top luxury furniture, and color palettes that are a signature of classic Eastern style. On the other hand, it has a modern futuristic vibe that you see in mansions across the West, particularly in places like California. They named this beautiful dream home Dar Nur, or House of Light, and with all of the natural lighting, the name is definitely accurate. It was specifically designed so that each and every room has you facing towards the sea. Chances are that no matter where you are in the house, the sea beckons you to come take a dip. Let's be real. You came here for the salacious details and wild parties, and I've got just the story for you. One of their wild yacht parties threw them off course and they found themselves in dangerous waters in Iran, where the vessel was seized and held for ransom. There are two different accounts of what actually happened. One claims that the Iranian government took the ship, leaked the story, and held the boat as a warning to anyone else who would have their party yacht float across the wrong border. Then there's the other story that Iranian pirates, who are supposedly well known for taking these expensive ships and dropping the crew off in a simple fishing boat, took the ship in classic pirate style. I'm not exactly sure how much money it would cost to charter a giant luxury yacht, throw a lavish party on that exact same yacht, pay a giant ransom once you're yacht is seized by pirates or a foreign power, or how much it would cost to cover all of that up. But chances are this one party alone costs somewhere between 5 and 10 million. How much do cover-ups cost these days? Anyone got an estimate? Regardless of who seized the vessel, it was released and things were quietly swept under the rug. But that isn't the only violent altercation they've had on the water. One member of the Kuwait royal family was a power boating enthusiast. The kinds of high speed vessels that go for tens of thousands of dollars with teams that can cost millions. He even entered an intense race with fast speeds, harsh waves, and stiff competition in the United Arab Emirates. How do I know it's so intense? A heavy wave pushed his vessel over, then it capsized and took his life. This family spends money on the classiest homes or the highest stakes water adrenaline and absolutely nothing in between.